All right, David here with RadiationHealthRisks.com. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, my whole life before I knew about any of this stuff, um, you know, I just, every time we'd turn on the microwave, I'd always say, get away from that, it's gotta be, and, they, and my family would always say, oh, it's safe, they, they wouldn't have it where it was dangerous, they'd block all the, the radiation out of that, I'm like, you know, I just didn't trust it. I was like, no, you know, this was, you know, the last 20, 30 years or whatever. And I just always had a feeling that, you know, that, uh, that the microwaves leaked radiation. And I had somebody tell me one time, well, all you got to do to test it is, is, uh, you know, put your cell phone, because cell phone, that's what it communicates with is microwave radiation. They just don't turn, stick your cell phone inside the microwave. Don't turn the microwave on and then call your cell phone from another phone and if it answers, if it rings, I mean, um, you know that there's microwave, plenty of microwave radiation getting through there. So, but there's another way that you can test it. You guys have seen this before, I'm sure, if you've been on to, to my site. This is the High Frequency Analyzer H, or, yeah, HF35C. This thing's awesome. You can test anything with it. I love it. So. Anyway, this will measure up to two thousand twice the U.S. safety standard, which is 2,000 microwatts per meter squared. So I'm going to pause this video for a second, and I'm going to get something I can stick in the microwave, and then we'll run a test. So hang on a minute. Okay, so I just got myself a little glass of water just so we can run this uh, radiation test. So I'm going to stick it here in this microwave. Okay, so here I am, clear across the kitchen. I don't know if you can read this. Anyway, sitting here, it's uh, getting 400, 380, uh, 500. Now watch as I get closer. I'll have to read this to you because there's no way you can see it. Well, I'll just carry this. Hang on one second. I'm going to carry you with me here. Okay, so you can see what it's reading there. As I get closer, it's maxed out. I am not even get halfway across the kitchen. You can see it's at a one, it's maxed out. People stand right next to the, the microwave all the time and read that. There we go, there, now it's maxed out again. You can see that? So, <laughs> there's microwave radiation coming out of that microwave. The same stuff that you use to cook your food. <laughs> you're cooking your brain <laughs> if you're uh, if you're not uh, being careful. Now, one quick thing I'll show you. Uh, I want to show you one other quick thing. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I started the microwave again. So I want to show you something. See how it's now it's maxing out clear over here. But I want you to see that. Now watch what happens when I go behind. This is a metal fridge. you would think that the metal fridge would be blocking it. And yeah, it's blocking some of it. Let's get right close to the metal fridge. It's there, we're still maxing out. That microwave radiation bounces around stuff. So here we are behind a metal fridge. Theoretically, it should block it, but it doesn't block it. Now we're maxing out again. So, I hope that helps you guys. Again, we can have all our gadgets. There's, there's a little, I'll do another review when I have it. I haven't ordered it yet, but there's a, a microwave. It's a, it's a cloth with metallic fibers in it that looks nice. But anyway, you can just throw it over your microwave when you hit turn, turn it on, and uh, it'll block 90% of the radiation that's coming out of that. I think if you go to um, recommended uh, protections, it'll be in there. Um, I think it's actually was designed for uh, other kind of meters like water meters outside the house, but it would work perfect to throw it over. Anyway, just an idea that I had. Or whenever you use the microwave, leave the room. <laughs> so anyway, hope that helps, guys. Appreciate it. Talk to you in the next video.